Off the top, dangerous and deadly dams. It may sound silly, but the dangers at dams are very real, especially here in Grand Rapids. Yesterday, a couple had to be rescued from the river after going over one. And a couple of weeks ago, a scuba diver died. We'll do it at 6 o'clock. We're learning that the DNR is now working with the city to remove those dams. And 24-Hour News 8's Heather Walker is live downtown with why there is such a concern. Yeah, standing on the shore, the dams appear harmless. Seems like the water's just going over and continuing downstream. But it's what you don't see under the water. That's the danger. They're called drowning machines or killer dams. And that's exactly what the 6th Street Dam is. There are more than 2,000 dams in Michigan. And according to Jay Wesley with the Department of Natural Resources, the 6th Street Dam is the worst in the state. He says there's at least one drowning here a year. We just took a minute and walked around with us and said, Down at the hey, dam, it wasn't hard to this. find watch someone who's there's come close. I've shattered this kneecap, broke this tibia twice on these rocks right here. I've been here five days a week for the last two years. Leditsky and Tom Camp think it's the best place to fish, but no, you have to be careful. And there's holes out here that can be 10 and 12 feet deep, and there's, there's a lot of water flow that you can be pulled back under under with. There's always dangers at every dam, uh, but the worst is the vortex if you get caught in a vortex. That's what happens at the 6th Street Dam. Unlike other dams where the water gets broken up by rocks, the water flowing over this dam has nothing in its way. As it goes over, it forms the circle, and then the circle stays there all the time. And that's what pulls you under? Yes. To try and show you what happens, we threw a bottle in. Immediately, it got pulled under, then popped up and pulled under again. And as you're pulled under, there's rocks under there, there's logs, you can hit your head. Uh, Is there any way to break free from getting pulled, that cycle of being pulled under? If you're lucky, you can uh, push yourself off the dam or try to grab something on the bottom to pull yourself out of that. The other option, keep grabbing air every time you come up until rescuers arrive. The dams were originally put in to produce power. Most are no longer used. Now, the DNR wants to remove them, but they are concerned about invasive species getting in until they can find a way to keep them out. The dams will stay in. Organizers of Restored the Rapids Project want to remove part of the dams to open up the river for kayaking and other recreational sports. Live in downtown Grand Rapids, Heather Walker, 24-Hour News 8.